Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're playing the story mode, and we've got a stranger danger mission that we haven't been able to complete. And that is the one for the Saint Denis Mayor. For those of you that don't know about this, you get a letter from the Saint Denis Mayor, and if you read that letter and go to Saint Denis at night, you'll be able to unlock a new series of stranger events. I've been wanting to cover this for a while, and I just kept forgetting to do it. And many of you may have forgot yourselves. So we're gonna play this out. I believe there's three uh, parts to this particular mission. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Thank you so much for the support. But right now we need to sleep until nighttime. So let's go ahead and let's see your noon, evening. I believe it needs to be legitimately night. And then we can sneak into the mayor's area and get this going. There we go. Idealism and pragmatism for beginners. Visit Henry Lemieux. Lemau. Lemiao. Lemiax. I don't know words. Words are hard. The struggle is real. Uh, but that's where we got to go. But once again, thank you all for the amazing support on the Red Dead Redemption 2 series. It's been an absolutely phenomenal month, and I hope to be able to play Red Dead for a long time to come, especially if we get updates. But obviously, we're going to be playing other games, and Atlas is coming very soon. It is a pirate survival MMO, and looks amazingly promising. It's by the same developers as Ark Survival Evolved, and it's going to be coming in early access, which most likely means we're going to be getting monthly updates for it and adding lots of content, and I'm really excited because I've been wanting a good pirate game for a long, long time. So if this ends up being anywhere near good, nobody's really been able to pull off a really great pirate game lately, and I would love to have an amazing one coming out so keep an eye out on the channel for that i'll be making a preview video on what atlas is if you guys want to check it out and then obviously i'll be having my own private servers courtesy of g portal uh, who i'm sponsored by so anybody who wants to play the game is gonna be able to play with me which is pretty awesome hey oh i gotta sneak in the back or something we are in the back do we have to be super spoopy or anything i don't think we have to be can we just burst in here like the kool-aid man we should get a cutscene the second we go near this door, probably, is what's gonna happen. Come on, baby. Where are you at, Mayor? Why yes? do you look so surprised? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, uh, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgo. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not true. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. You are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? You I steal know. it. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. 
Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. This is not gonna end well. We can tell that already. Oh, at least I get to drive. That's good. Actually, no, this is terrible. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. He's a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend. This is cart so fast. You ain't seen yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. Must we go so fast? Oh god, yeah, we almost flipped. Right ahead. So... There, Mr. Arthur! There! Oh. No. Oh, What's he's going down. Again? Professor Shiftaker. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Shitface. <laughs> uh, sorry. Follow Professor Shitface until he reaches a secluded area. They did that on purpose, and I love it. Where you go in there, mister? Gonna pimp slap you in an alley. Shove some dynamite up your brown star. Make it give us all these paintings. I feel like this is pretty secluded. Right? Hello, professor. Professor? Excuse me. Oh, hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. Yeah. I'm afraid that's just you hard You better say cheese. they're authentic before I pimp now slap you. Now I've got you. a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, oh you ready for a good old pimp slapping? <laughs> Boop. Now you will... Say these paintings are legitimate. Do you understand, sir? I couldn't. My reputation. Your reputation ain't gonna matter if you're dead, homie. That's right. You you had enough? You gonna admit these paintings are for realsies? Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. You done? There we go. That's right. Oh, I wanted to beat him one more time just for good measure. An academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise... <laughs> I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Now return to Jean Mock. I feel like we should have beat him a little bit more because he was being a little reluctant there at the end. Like he just wanted us to leave him alone. I'll beat him again if I have to. Good morning to, to you. Hello, Governor. So Turns out, all those pains were real after all. Oh, Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. <laughs> we shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Ooh, oh, thank you. Money. Nice. How much money we get for this? We could have used that newspaper. There could have been information about Princess Is a Boo Boo in there. What are you doing? Fifteen dollars for beating the crap out of somebody. Oh, come on now. We could have done way better than that. 
So to start the next part of this particular mission, we need to receive a mail. We got this yesterday from the mayor, so grab this bad boy and see what we got going on here. Second invitation from Le from Mayor Limiala, Monsieur Kilgore. I could not have wished for better fruits from our unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our galley are quite rightly authenticated, and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good graces <sighs> of a mayor and, and to use right the here. Americanism. I feel I still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. As before, come to the back of the mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you again, your friend, Henry Lebiard. So, we gotta go there at night which it is currently not and it is always raining in any game i play especially survival games it is always freaking raining it is the bane of my existence and will continue to be the bane of my, of my existence for probably the rest of eternity it's finally time to see what the hell this next little mission for the mayor is gonna be does he have some dark secrets time to find out Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you, but it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh, <laughs> against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man, and he's- He's leaving town on a coach heading to his country estate because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Arthur. It is on like Donkey Kong, baby. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. You're a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. <laughs> that guy's got something stuck up his chocolate starfish. Guy needs to relax a little bit. Sometimes anarchy is the best. <laughs> uh, let's hear. So go to the Saint Denis. What time is it? Ooh, it's almost daytime, baby. Can we just blow? Do I have any dynamite? Oh, baby, I love dynamite. Horse! Come hither, horse! Horse! Is it inside of the... Oh, my God. Horse, what are you doing? Why are you inside? Were you in his oh, house wow. eating his cookies right in his fridge? Oh, my God. So we're supposed to be waiting for the red stagecoach. Now, for some reason, I have a, a major urge to blow up said red stagecoach. I'm feeling this is going to make me fail the mission. It's quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think it's going to be worth it because it's going to be a grand explosion aboard the stagecoach. Well, shit, biscuits. I should have known better. I just like blowing things up. Hello, sir. Stop the coach. Who the heck are you? I'm yo Hold daddy. Right there. You're getting an extra passenger. He's just like, okay. When I get in, you carry on. Just like blowing things up. Don't hate me. 
What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellow, in Santa Hell? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> the mayor is a crook. <laughs> me too. I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Oh, Get but you are. Uh, so press L2 and R2 to grab Hector Fellows. Oh! Oh, we're gonna feed him to the Gators, baby! Oh, I'm sorry, what's that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! <laughs> I didn't <laughs> Oh, baby. What was that? Ah, please. All right. All right. <laughs> That's one way to get things Wait. done. You see? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. <laughs> Hold up. Damn, Arthur. What a gangster. I love Arthur, man. As you were. Come on. Return to the mayor's house after dark. Alrighty. It's. Oh, I, I hate playing the game in the darkness, and this whole quest line yeah. is playing in the damn dark. I better make more than $15 this time. This guy definitely has way more money to be given out. For all this hard work I'm doing for him, right? Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank oh. you. My pleasure. Nice. Listen, Mr. Arthur. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. Oh, it's time to pimp slap somebody. He's saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no, no. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, mm -hmm. I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. I don't like Thank this you, mayor Arthur. very much, but... I didn't really like Jean-Marc either. So, farm, field, and falconry, huh? Is that... Is there anything in here? Oh, this is interesting. Farming, gathering bones, tracking an animal. Recent deceased animals, bees... I haven't seen any bees in this game. Huh. Interesting. Very intriguing. So, there's one important thing to note for this particular part of the mission. You can do one of two things. You can let Jean-Marc live, or you can kill him. If... You kill Jean-Marc. You will get... You'll lose a little bit of honor. Not a lot. Just a little bit. But you'll also reap the benefits of 10% discounts at all the shops in Saint, in Saint Denis. So, keep that in mind. Uh, I want to move a little bit faster. I think it's just trying to make us go into his house, maybe. Hello, Jean-Marc. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? 
He's Best really bad at running. Big drama things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is going to hurt, but it's for the best. Got him. Maybe we can make the mayor put him down. Mayor hasn't gotten his hands dirty this whole time. I wonder how much that book is worth. Better be more than $15. Take Jean Marc to the mayor's house without being seen. Great. Oh, oh God. Oh God. How am I not supposed to be seen when there's freaking cops everywhere? Let's try this again, shall we? So maybe if we go through this way, I was trying to go for the horse, but perhaps using the horse is not in our best interest. Is there a way out over here? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Can we squat or anything? There's a copper right there. Can I pimp slap the cop? It's annoying because they like instantly can tell who you are, even when you kill the cops. Don't turn around, don't turn around. I have no idea how many cops, is that a cop on the horse over there? There's way more cops out right now than there ever has been in the history of me playing this game. The final stretch, baby. Oh, son of a beached whale. What the hell is that person doing? <laughs> he is in a rush to go somewhere. Damn. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Got to teach this guy a lesson. Hello, governor, mayor, Wouldn't whatever. Bring him around the back. Mayor better get his hands dirty. He can curb oh, stomp his own Mark, servants Jean if he Mark. wants. Uh, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He <laughs> might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, oh. Where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Well, this guy's getting really, creepy, I don't man. So well. No, Jean Marc. Here. <gasps> my brother, my brother, Jean Marc. Well, we've been so. Uh, I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what well, a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course. Of Highly course. unlikely. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. <laughs> you're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. You Rama, better pay me handsomely. I will miss you. Stupid mayor never getting his hands shot. dirty. Kill him. It must be so. Please. I kind of feel bad about having to do this, but I do like all discounts. But all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lumiere's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. You'll destroy him, sure huh? Left well alone. Come on, please. Please. Nah. You want to shoot a sad little man, What do we you? do here? Uh, I don't want to let him go. There we go. 
<laughs> We're just doing this for the 10% discount. I I'd, I'd feel bad about it, but at the end of the day, we, uh, you know, we are a gang after all, and we want to stay alive. And this guy was a threat to the possibility of us being able to maintain that life we so cherish. And unfortunately, Jean-Marc is... Oh, God! Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> uh, so we lost a little bit of honor. It's not a terribly high amount of honor that we lose. And we have completed Idealism and Pragmatism for Beginners. Now, this does give us a 10% uh, discount at all the shops if you do take them down. So, it's a little bit of a benefit, especially if you do it earlier in the game than what I've done way, way out in Chapter 6. So, after I've bought everything that I've needed. Um, but I am curious, did he even pay us? I didn't even see if we got any money. This is, maybe we get something in the mail. I bet that's what it is. The mayor likes to send letters for some reason. Uh, but I do want to know how much that book is worth. We'll see if we got a letter from the mayor here. Usually what happens after these long stranger missions arrive today. Oh, yeah. And then we still got to see how much that book is worth. Let's see here. Uh, from the office of Henry Lemieux, mayor of St. Denis. Dear Mr. Kilgore, these are troubling times at City Hall with the disappearance of Deputy Mayor Mercier, but civic business continues. The mayor has asked that you be formally commended for your recent services to the city of St. Denis. Please accept this token of gratitude of the citizenry along with a personal message from the mayor. This scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Yours respectfully, the office nice of the mayor of St. Denis. So, how much money did we make? Uh... Did I even get anything? I didn't even see anything happen. What the? Right. Well, that's frustrating. I I don't want a thank you letter. I, I want money. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be money in that. And for some strange reason, I didn't get a cent. So this book better sell for something. I mean, I had fun with the stranger mission, but damn. That mayor is stingy. What what the hell is that? Charles Chatney? Yeah, okay. That That is what that is. Um, I didn't have autosave on the other day when I did the, um, the Charles Chatney stranger mission, so there's still one left. But let me know in the comments below if you got money from this, because you're supposed to. I don't know how much it is, but some of these others give quite a bit of money. Did they just get poop dropped on them? I love that. This book better, better sell for something in his mouth uh, yeah i'd love to know if you guys made any money the native american ring that's not it emerald ground coffee do we even have the book here stoling your good name you're terrible of course not i don't even see it anywhere now is there something i can help you with so now i've got a useless book that i can't sell i didn't get any money from it Everything is broken. Maybe my character's broken. Maybe the save game is broken. Interesting. Gold shield. Yeah, no, so we don't have a book anywhere. Mary's ring. A ring belonging to Mary. We've got a gold bar. Just kind of saving that, I suppose. An emerald. Well, crap. All right. Interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for the support on the series. Cannot wait to see how online progresses. I'm really excited for the full release because I'm I'm actually quite enjoying the online story so far. And especially being able to do the honorable and dishonorable missions seems pretty cool to me. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. And we know we've got some additional game modes coming. I don't know if they're going to be introduced in the beta or if they're going to wait for the full release to add some of the more exciting things. But we'll see what happens in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.